and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Last time, we, uh, it, we, we went into the Earth Shrine with Zenane and Quina, we put all the mirrors in their places, they took out the four Guardians, Earth Guardian, uh, Water Guardian, Wind Guardian, and the, the Fire Guardian. And so we took all four of them out, out simultaneously, and then we went back to Ibsen's Castle to tie up some loose ends that I forgot to do way earlier. So there you go, and now um, we can head for Terra. I have my party set up as I have listed in the video description, so there you go, people. So let's head for Terra, at last. And the only reason I'm using the party I'm using right now is to try to finish off some of their abilities, because they're way behind, and they're also way behind on levels, too, so... But, but most importantly, if you have not done anything on disc... If you have not done anything at this point, if there's anything left you have to do on disc 3, like, if, if you have to go back and buy some stuff, or, if there's anything you missed, do it now, because this is the point of no return after that, and some places will lock you out of going back to them after this point, so, there you go. Alright? In fact, I might want to make another save state here, so... There we go, alright. And let's go into the Shimmering Island. I am, I, I am now ready. I am ready now. We are ready to head for the Shimmering Island, where Terra is. Let's go. Mr. Zerane, I'm sure showing abnormal readings. It feels like the ship is being is getting sucked in. Zerane, it might be dangerous to keep going. Are we gonna bust in on the airship? All we know is that this is the entrance. I heard the people of Esto Gaza call it the Spirit Road. The path that leads souls to Terra. Maybe it's a teleportation gate, like the one in Kuja's hideout. Mr. Zidane, we're going to get sucked in. What shall I do? What now, Zidane? We may not be able to turn back. Alright then. And here you go. You get one last chance, viewers, to turn back if you have not done anything that you can only do at this point on disc 3. This is your last chance, so if you haven't done it, choose to pull back. So this is the point of no return right here. But I've, I'm, I'm ready to go, so let's keep moving forward. Keep moving forward! We're going out on the deck! What do you mean? If Dagger is right, we can jump into the teleporter. From this height? We'll be fine. Considering all that we've been through, this is nothing. Alright, if you say so, Zanane. Whoa. What is this? Whoa. They're all getting sucked in now. Okay, keep looking up! Keep looking up! Extreme close-up! That was quite an entrance. I love this theme that's playing right now. I love this th theme of this place. Could this be Terra? What's this light? Could it be... Huh? Huh? Who's that? Hey, it's Garland! Or maybe it's another old guy. But it looks exactly like Garland. That has to be Garland right there. But we don't know for sure, apparently. So, you finally came. The time has come at last, you... Who the heck are you? Ask my name, will you? Then let us ask. What is your name? Me? My name is... What is your name? Hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you my name! So you believe a given name has meaning? Boy, you have been bewitched by the light of the blue moon. What do you know? You must be from Terra. 
Terra, is that supposed to be a Final Fantasy VI reference? You know nothing, and that is all. Come and see for yourself. See what Terra is, and what you are. Hey, hey, hang on! He's gone! Sedane. Dagger, are you alright? Yes, everyone's fine. Come, let's hurry. And I'm just gonna keep my party the same same way it is. Normally I take Dagger, Steiner, and Vivi as my party for this area. But, you, but as you can see, they're, they're, they're over level 40 as it is, so... And I'm gonna be using them later anyway, so... So, uh, I gotta let my other characters catch up. Uh, mainly these three, because I've been neglecting them lately, so... Uh, Quinn has already learned all of his abilities at this point, so there we go. And Aiko, she's, over, she's level 45, so she's good. Uh, these three have to catch up, though. So let's get moving. And let's go out and explore! Terra! I like this place. Huh? Hey! Alright, well we could follow after that girl right there, or we could go through a secret passage. Jump over here, go over here, and get a coronet. That's better than a short stick in the eye. I got plenty of coronets. <laughs> I don't need any more of those, but... But you know, uh, the more treasure we have, the merrier. Anyway, now we go over here, find another treasure. A dragon wrist. That is uh, an armlet for Freya. Let's give that to her. Unless she's still working on something from her other armlet. No, she's not. Okay. Well then, let's give her that dragon wrist. It raises her evade and spirit a little bit. It uses some of our other stats, but... Well, better, better than a sharp stick in the eye. In fact, she's a dragon knight. I think a dragon armlet is perfect for her. Oh, these guys. These are movers, viewers. I haven't fought these enemies in a long time in this area, so I barely even remember anything about them. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to take my chances with them. Let's just go all out. Uh, Amber, go ahead and use your new mer No Mercy ability. And Freya, why don't you use... Let's see. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Jump. Jump. And Zidane, you can steal from these enemies. Or, no, don't steal. Use thievery. Uh, not bad, Amory, but you could have done more damage. Yeah, Amory's a little under level here, so he has to catch up. But these enemies do give you a lot of, of experience and ability points, and, and, and guild, too, so there you go. Let's try your physical attack, Amber. See how that does. Not bad, Vivi. Not bad at all. Oh, good job, Freya. You finished it off. Well done. It's a nice place. Strange, but nice. I love the music they play. And we got more movers again. How great. Great, Meteor missed. Yes. Hate it when that happens. You know what, Amber? Try throwing your wing edge at one of them. See how that does. Nice 
Nice job, Emery. Okay, we're gonna use wing edges then. For you. We're gonna use wing edges for you. Good job, Peavy. Did good. Before we follow after her, let's get this treasure right here. An elixir. Awesome. Ah, and here we got a new enemy. Another new enemy. Heck dies. And you know, I'm just gonna go with thievery to kill him, so let's do that. Let's go with thievery. And Fay, I guess you can use Lancer to finish it off. And Emily, once you do, no mercy. Uh, VV, you're out of MP. You need another, so we need to give you another. But you know what? Yeah, let's give you another just in case we don't kill this monster. Okay, we can just outright kill it. Okay, that works. That works absolutely. Another BB. There you go. All right, let's go. Huh? huh? Hey, wait up! Huh? What's your problem? Where'd she go? Well, let's go look for Zanay. Let's see. Anyway, let's go down this ladder here. Now, we don't want to head over there just yet. Let's head down here first. Get a hidden, tr get a treasure down here. Hidden treasure. A remedy. Let's see. I don't think there's anything back there, but you know what? Let's check. Is there? No, there's not. Okay. Okay, there's nothing back there. Vivi learned some abilities, alright. Speaking of which, did Freya ever finish off that weapon of hers? Hmm. I don't think she did yet, did she? No, not yet, but she's almost done with it. Now we can give Amory his, uh, new weapon, the Avenger. Not as strong as the Kaisa Knuckles, but you take what you can get. Let's go. Now we can head over here. Let's see, let's uh, jump over there. Get a treasure back here. Containing a missile racket. I don't know why that's there, but... Well, there you go. Oh, these guys. This is why I have Auto Reflect equipped on everyone. Because these monsters use a lot of magic, so there you go. Fortunately, with Auto Reflect, they can't even hit you, which is nice. Uh, Vivi, you want to cast Blizzog on one of them? 
I'm not gonna have any attack just yet. <laughs> These monsters can also inflict you with the virus status, so you gotta watch out for that. If they do that, use vaccines immediately. They do use the virus status. Osmos, that's nothing to worry about. Or maybe it is, okay. Well, anyway, let's use, let's go with thievery on that, on that other wing leader right there. Ha ha. Yeah, auto reflect is very handy against those wing, le wing leaders right there because they cast a lot of magic. Good job, Zane. Man, you get a lot of experience here from that battle. <laughs> a lot. That's over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. Yeah. Anyway, if we have finished off that heavy lance there, so let's give her another weapon. Let's give her that obelisk there. We'll give her the dragon's hair again later. She has to work on her other abilities first. Let's give her that ob obelisk, obelisk, however you want to pronounce it. Let's see. She finished off the diamond helm. She's got nothing new to work on with that. And she's still in the rubber suit there and the protector ring. So there we go. Emma, you sh you're done with the golden hairpin, so... Um, you know what? Yeah, let's give you the red hat so you can work on cover. There you go. And you're still on the ninja gear and that. There you go. Okay. You're all set. Anyway, now let's go down this ladder here. Let's go down. Anyway, let's get this treasure over here. Get a demon's vest. Uh, I already got plenty of those. Not that I really need it, so. Alright, and let's go over here. Who are you? You don't remember anything, do you? Follow me, and, and you will understand us. And maybe your own heritage as well. Hey, wait, hold on a sec! Alright, I'm fighting to learn eye for eye. I don't think she has any other armors that she can equip to work on any other abilities, though. But let's see. I don't think she does. Let's see. She has anything else she can work on? No, not really. Hmm. But you know what, let's learn to keep that rubber suit. I don't know why she can equip that, because it's an armor, but whatever. Anyway, now we can go over here. Once you go on, you'll see. Okay. Well, let's continue on then, Zane. And get into another random battle, just before I get to the next screen. Game! Oh, these guys again.
But anyway, why did the music cut out? It's kind of creepy. Hmm. Well, anyway, we could head on up the stairs there, or we could head through a hidden passage! And another battle, too, apparently. Oh boy, here comes the roulette! Better get ready to revive someone. Who's, who's it gonna be? The, who's gonna get killed? Oh, quite yet. Okay. There we go. There's a spiral staircase, you have to go all the way down it, yep. And here we get a, a hidden treasure! A Minerva's Plate. That is only equipable by women, I'm pretty sure, so... Even though it's an armor, it's only equipable by women, so... You have to give it to someone like Dagger or Aiko, if they're in your party. I don't know if it teaches them a new ability or not, I'll have to check on that. And put in an annotation if it does or not. But anyway... Let's head on back up the staircase now. This is a weird place. Yeah, sometimes these monsters like to cast Reflect on themselves, so you can't use magic on them. Unfortunately. Uh, am I going to throw a wing edge at that other wing leader? And Freya, you might as well attack it. Vivi, you might as well just stay on standby, because you're not going to be able to do much. Virus powder? This could be bad. I better use a vaccine on BB. Okay, it didn't get hit by virus. Well, it went over. But there we go. And VV learned auto life, alright. Anyway, let's head on up here now. That's all the treasure is there is in this area. What? 
the heck? What is this place? It looks really artificial. So different than before. Yeah, but it doesn't seem very lively. Welcome home. Huh? This is where you belong. The place to which you shall offer yourself. It's here. Huh? Well, anyway, this people is Bran Ball. Or Bran Bal, uh, however you want to pronounce it. Hold on a second, what the heck are you talking about? What, what the? Uh-oh, what's going on? Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Whoa! What's that? Some airship, I know that. What? Whoa! It's that eye in the sky. Oh, this doesn't look good at all. Dagger, wake up! Dagger. Damn it, what the heck is going on? You are completely oblivious. Just like a newborn child. You don't know why you were given life or for what purpose you exist. You simply shout to emphasize your life, your own existence. You are completely oblivious. We gotta find a place for her to rest! Sidrain, leave the princess to me! You must go reconnoitre recon to her at once! Yeah, you're right. There's gotta be some place around here. Watch over her, Steiner. I'll be right back. Alright, well, now we gotta choose a party, so... Um, let's see. I don't really know who I'm gonna choose. Uh, you know what? Let's take Aiko. Just because. And I already have the others equipped, so I might as well put Quinn in instead of Amor in. There we go. The others are already equipped, but... There we go. Sorry. Actually, you know what? No, Quinn is already equipped anyway, so... Go ahead and put Freya back in. I need to heal her up anyway. There we go. I'll just stick to this party for now. There, now she should be okay. Alright, I need to buy more items anyway, so... Well! Let's head on over here. Then. What? What's going on? Everyone has a tail, and their hair is just like mine! Oh, yeah, now that, now, that, now, now that you look at it as an ain't, yes, they are. Well, apparently we made it to some weird town now, and everyone looks just like Zidane. Well, we will explore this town of Banbao next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Like, comment, subscribe, rate, and share. Anything that you all can think of. And I will see you on the next episode when we explore Bran Bao and see what awaits us here and see what this town is like. I will see you all then, and thanks for watching, everyone.